Like my eyeballs, girl. How come I didn't get your eyeballs? That's, yeah. I want your balls. Mm. <laughs> you too. All right, are we starting? Yeah. Let's okay. start. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Jordan. Hi, welcome back. I'm with my mom today. Hi. I literally do Jennifer. videos with only you, Cole, and Julia. But today, I'm going to be driving. We're in the same position again. She's just not in the back seat. I'm so. not. And I'm sorry for all of you who say I need to buckle up. Watch. Watch. She's going to buckle, buckle up, up today. I'm going to be asking my mom a few questions. So, on Instagram and stuff, I asked you guys to ask me questions like that you would never ask your mom. Jen Jen is going to be your mommy. And Jen Jen is going to answer the questions. I watched a few of these online. And there's several of them. Several moms and daughters are doing this. And I get it. And um, so we've got some different questions. Let's get off the body count thing, you know, <laughs> whatever. And um, so we're gonna ask some other questions. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at Arby's right now. Uh, mommy just told me that that she's gonna be admitting something super freaking big in this um, little video, and I'm excited. Yeah, you definitely. I'm excited. You'll definitely want to wait till the end because I think we should hold that off to the okay, end. Okay, yeah, we're definitely okay. Let's yeah. to the end. We got the food. But this is actually pretty good. Do parents keep bad stuff that they did hidden from their kids? Like, yeah. Well, yeah. Unless, of course. Unless you're made to go on a Q&A video with your daughter. Daughter. Yeah. On a YouTube video for the whole world to find out your secrets. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we normally don't uh, divulge our secrets. A, don't want you to use them against us. Or B, we don't want you to take them as um, permission, permission to, to go out and do it yourself. Mom doesn't want me asking this question yet, but I'm doing it anyways. Why are parents so against boys having sleepovers? <laughs> um, that should be super obvious, but... Um, I don't know if you know this, but like we were made and created to like be attracted to each other. Oh, so, really? I didn't yeah, know. like I didn't uh, know yeah. And we're not supposed to create opportunities for us to screw up. You put boys and girls in the same room, and then all of a sudden you go, hmm, they look pretty good. Oh, you normally, looking sexy though. Mm, yeah, you normally tap, don't make right choices. So, um, yeah, then that's when bad things happen. <laughs> I like this one. I like this one. Yeah. If I was doing drugs, would you want me to tell you? I would want you to tell me. No. But, like, okay, so listen. So, whoever asked this question, are you trying to get in trouble with your parents? Because if I told you I was doing drugs, you'd be like, oh. Your phone's gone. Oh, your car's gone. That I don't even have. And, like, you would be mad. If you were to come to me and be like, hi, hi. and go, hey, um, I'm totally wasted. Um, wasted and like, high, which one? like if you came to me and you were totally blasted, okay, that's well. different. I'd be like, you're an idiot. Give me your phone. You're totally grounded. You're. But if you came to me and you were like, I have an issue, mom. I'm, I'm, I'm on drugs. I'm totally addicted. I need help. I wouldn't go, give me your phone, you're grounded. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. I need your help. Okay, there's a, that's two totally different things. And you know that there's always a bridge for you to come to us and for us to help you. I would hope so. You, that, that's always been, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, let me ask you, since you asked me, mm -hmm. if you were on drugs, would you tell me? If I didn't need help and I like liked what I was doing, Right. And I didn't care. Probably not. <laughs> probably, probably. Right. So I guess that I was the difference. I right. wouldn't tell you yet. Right. Because like I don't want to get in trouble. Like that's the thing. It's all about the trouble. <laughs> it's all about like getting in trouble. I feel like that's the thing. Um, have you ever snuck out? Have you ever snuck out? Why? When? How old? You know, everything. Snuck you. I was going to ask yeah, you. Yeah, no. I've never snuck out before because one, you're always up and awake and I have nobody to sneak out with yeah. and go. Because I don't party. I don't party. I don't I do not do anything like that. So, like, there's no reason to sneak out. The only reason I would sneak out is to go with Cole to get, like, some food or something. Um, but have you ever snuck out? I have. Mm, I have. I have. Yeah. So, me and this girl, Carrie, sl snuck out of my house when I was like 13 and we went out and I uh, met two boys and we went to the beach <laughs> and it was um, it was not a it was not a good time it was a good time but it was not a good time because um that you think that you have the ability to say no yeah. to things and you don't what happened when things are like forced on you not a good thing and so that was kind of my first experience of like when you say no, you mean no, 
that whole deal and that was it. No <laughs> means yes. <laughs> no does not mean this yes. <laughs> no does not mean yes. Look at her. No does not mean yes, Jordan, at all. I know, I'm just kidding. I know. I know, but it's, and it's funny until all of a sudden it's you it's and like, you're ah! position and then you're like, oh, yeah. Oh my god. So it was, yeah, it was kind of scary. All right, question is, uh, what is the most illegal thing you've ever done? Most illegal? That would be shoplifting in seventh grade. My mom got arrested in seventh grade for shoplifting. What this is ball. correct. Why would you high five me on that one? <laughs> I went to private school and then in seventh grade, they, um, I wanted to go to public school really, really bad. So they let me go to public school in seventh grade. And so year. I was trying desperately to fit into like the cool crowd because I didn't know any of them and I got in with them. But then there was like this almost like, you know, way to like indoctrinate and like be uh, cool. And uh. so I started skipping school with them. <laughs> and then we, we skipped Daddy. school and we went to this store called Zares, which would be like the like the right now target. Yeah. And um and so I went with these two girls, Jennifer and April, and they both like they stole things a lot. And so we But they stole, were more slick, clearly. They were more slick and they got me to steal some stuff. And so I was so stupid that she I honestly you. believed, I thought that once you made it out of the store, You're that safe. then you were safe. And so I have no. this, my, my husband always laughs at me and the kids always laugh at me because I was the first one out of the store. And so they were behind me. So we we're walking out of the store and I was walking really, really fast. And I had like pockets full of like earrings and white out literally like, like supplies for school supplies and stuff like that little you stuff goober and stuff. yeah stupid stupid and I was walking out and so I'm walking really fast towards the front and apparently they had been watching us the whole time in the cameras because they were waiting on us I didn't know That's so awesome. we're walking out the front and as I walked out the front I turned to the girls and I was like we made it we made it and, and then two police officers just stepped out from behind these big columns out outside and they said you want to come with me? And my husband said I should have said, no, no I don't. We <laughs> no, have a whole deal. Oh, so. God. <laughs> so in seventh grade, I got arrested for shoplifting. So I have stole something. Yeah, I know. Your sticky finger. But, okay. Mm -hmm. But did I get arrested in seventh grade? No, I passed that test. But we never know. Maybe I could get arrested soon. How many boyfriends have Jennifer had? Tell us how many boyfriends you've had. Like, we, like, are we talking about high school? Sure, in high school, yeah. Well, this all goes towards that last question. So in my high school years, uh -huh. um, I only had one through my whole high school year. Oh, that's boring. Then go to uh, middle <laughs> school. <laughs> then go to middle school. <laughs> no. Why? Cause Cause it it's go. all the same. Not mm -mm. really. I mean, I did break up with him for like once, and I think I I did have a couple Discussion. other like little tiny ones. I did I did like I did cheat on one. Oh, that was one of the questions. Oh. Did she? Did my mom ever cheat? Yes. Yes, with his she best was at a friend. Movie. Yeah. Uh huh. You like that story? I do like that story. It's pretty funny. Tell yeah. It. On a double date, and I was dating this guy, and he fell asleep, and I actually found his best friend, who we were with, um, to be. Way pretty more attractive, attractive. That's and usually, um, yeah. Mm, okay. yeah and so in the middle of the movie my hand kind of fell down between the crack of the seat and so did the guys and then before we knew it we were holding hands oh fell and down. Then, yeah oh. and so that was that so however she did it was girl. just a hand holding no we ended up dating after that oh. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Girl. I like that energy. Yeah. <laughs> what? I like that energy. Like, Jordan's not that person. She just likes to hear about that. We had all kinds of questions like how do you put it? How do you put how a do you tampon shave? in? How do you put a tampon in? So we may need to do like a little mom. Like let me be your mama. And then like no boys allowed type stuff. No, you know, for so. girls only. For girls only. That's a good game. No, I know you don't really want to answer this question, but like, do you like like what do you think about hickeys? I despise them. I think they're disgusting. I think they're um, trashy, and I think I do. I think I think they're but trashy. But it's but it's one thing if like you do hickeys, but they're hidden because you would never know. No, I think that um, I think I don't think highly of a guy that would leave a hickey on you. Um, Every single guy in the world would leave a hickey on you. Every single guy would leave a hickey on you. It just depends like if it's seen or not. I think he's trashy. You think every single guy in the trash in the world is trashy then? Mm. Yeah. I think I don't think you need to go, hey look what I did last night. 
Hey. Look well, at it. okay, but nobody does it on the neck unless like you like, like. Look, it's your question, and it's my and it's my answer. So, how do you feel about first kisses? And explain your first. Oh, can I go mine first? Oh, uh, first yeah. kisses are the worst god dang thing. Okay, it, Jordan. Before, what? If they I was like obsessed with this kid for like two years, she he was. was a douche, and he didn't give me a time Aww. of day at all. Don't even. T he. Okay. Okay. So it was just playing in the field, you know, and how guys do. And we were at Chick Fil A, and he was like. And then his friend was like, have you had your first kiss? And I was like, I was like, no, I haven't, why? The guy who I like, like, his name's Paul, just, say, okay, I'm just gonna call him Paul. His name's not Paul, but Paul. Paul was like, hey, didn't you leave something in the car? And I was like, no. And then he was like, yeah, you did, come on. And I was like, what are, you, what are you doing? Cause like, of course I freaking liked him, so I was gonna go with him anyways. So I didn't know what was happening. And then homeboy, what are you doing? Homeboy grabs my face, grabs it, and like, <laughs> Kisses me and like sucks my face and I don't even know how to kiss I, my mouth my mouth my lips were not puckered They were nothing. He was just sucking on my mouth like this <laughs> Sort to God and I walked away crying Is your mouth open. So we're I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't no, that. No, he was trying to do that and I didn't you didn't let him I didn't know how to do it. That's good and So I was like, I was like, how do you do this? Um, I was at the um Roller skating rink. I love the roller skating rink. <laughs> so hey, that was my middle school. So I did hey. date in middle school. I started dating, I think, when I was 12-ish. <laughs> Jeez. Or or even yeah. Please go off. So, um, I was so nervous all night long because everybody kept telling me that he was gonna try to kiss oh, me. Oh, I hate mm -hmm. when that happens. Yeah, because I didn't know what to do either. Yeah. And um, so I knew that when we were when he was about to leave, that I was gonna have to walk with him to the door. And that he was probably gonna turn around and try. Mm. He walked him to the door and he turned around and then he went in and like clearly he had done this a million times before uh -huh. and because like there was no, as you and Cole say, that. It was, no, that. It it was, was like, like full, full on, bro. like he was going straight for my tonsils. <laughs> and like he was, it was He's a big full sniffer. tongue. <laughs> It was full tongue, full like, ah, and it was so disgusting. It was like, and I didn't know what to do with my tongue and his tongue, and it was so like, Pretty oh, hot. it was so, nope, it was not. <laughs> okay, so mommy has something to tell. What age did you lose your virginity? I lost my virginity. Virginity? <clears throat> when I was 14. <laughs> Really? Really? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I need you to understand something. Okay, I understand it. Been dating already for a year. The, you, you and him? Yeah. Okay. My dad had just died. Mm -hmm. oh. And I lost my dad when I was 14 to cancer. Now, before I get a million comments about where were my parents, I had very, very good parents. Very, very good parents. Was raised in a very, very good home. But at that time in my life, everything was turned upside down. And I was hanging out with a boy. And so, you know, and my mom was taking care of my dad. Um, I wasn't under constant supervision because my dad was going through treatment. I totally was trying to escape my world. And I was trying to escape all the pain from that. So I did the whole cliche, crappy prom night. Thing oh, because really? that is yeah. that whole deal that I think That's people think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was awful, and it was, and it changes your relationship completely because then from that point forward that's all you, all you do and so we dated for four and a half years but it completely ruined and destroyed our relationship because he was a way to escape and yeah. Does Cole know? No. Yes, I know before Cole. Well, yes. Apparently the whole world's gonna know. I know. I need you to know then, that it's never as magical as you think. That it doesn't fill up the holes in the voids. Well, it fills up holes, but it's just- Oh my god! <laughs> You're oh not my putting god. that in there. Yes, I am. The choices that we make, we're not always proud of, but we can embrace them and move forward. And um, a lot of you had questions about, should I tell my mom and will she hate me? Bottom line is, seriously, is that um, sometimes we make choices and we're not proud of them.
but at that point you just embrace it and you move forward and you do the best that you can your mistakes do not define you absolutely um reach out to your mom and um let her know and um she's made mistakes too. and even if even if you can't talk to your mom or you don't have anybody to talk to you can dm me or my mom we would literally respond and help you yeah. and talk to you like throughout everything yeah that happens yeah <laughs> so don't be ashamed um yeah. we, we make we make mistakes and we make choices and uh, just don't let those choices make you. You yes. know? Alright guys. <laughs> That's the end of the video. <laughs> so the moral of the story is please don't do that. <laughs> Alright, thank don't you. Do that. Thank you guys for sending in all your questions. Thank Jordan you. Jordan is for being a better it. role model than me. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> thank you guys for thank you mom for being my video about it. I'm uh, super thanks for proud sharing of her. some secrets. Uh, yeah, that's pretty yes. good. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. Go follow my Instagram. Everything's down below um, on my social medias. And comment down below if we should do a Just For Girls video. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye. Bye.